All right, guys, so I just got back from the grocery store. And let me first start by saying, is there ever a time that you can go to the grocery store and not spend at least $50? Like, I don't think there's been a time that I've been grocery shopping and got a handful of things and haven't spent more than at least $50. It's insane. All right. So first we have roasted peanuts, uh, roasted honey peanuts. Um, I normally have cashews. Um, I just felt like changing it up this time, but another one of my favorites um, outside of cashews. Cashews, peanuts, honey roasted, um, and pistachios are like my go-tos. Um, Nuts are good to have around. Um, doesn't matter if it's almonds, walnuts, pecans. Um, unfortunately, I'm allergic to a couple of those. Um, but uh, doesn't matter which kind it is. Um, nuts are good to have around for um, those um, snacks in between meals. Everyone always asks me what's good snacks for um, in between meals throughout the day, something just to grab on, munch on while you're um, busy at work or whatever the case may be. Um, nuts is always a good um, source to have. Um, good for uh, sodium, which everyone is usually against, but um, sodium is something we need, especially if you're someone that um, has high output of energy and you're a very active person um very good good source of protein and they're just they're just good to have around um they're good as far as they're not they can fulfill you if you eat if you overeat um but it's just good to keep you um i guess to steady your hunger uh, until your next meal um, just so you don't, you're not starving yourself. Um, as I said, it's just a good source of energy. Um, something I like to have for snacks. So, uh, bread is usually always in my stable. Uh, um, especially for like lunch, um, is always good for me. Uh, making sandwiches, this is quick and easy. Um, I don't really get into particular breads or anything. I just bread is bread to me. Um, as you see, if you know me and I, you know I'm not uh, use this particular bread for lower calories. Like I'm not gonna get into all that. I could care less. Uh, bread service serves its purpose, and it fulfills my hunger when I'm hungry. <laughs> all right, so that's as far as I'll go with that. Um, asparagus it is probably the one green thing that I will always eat no matter what um, I like broccoli but broccoli can be kind of gassy sometimes um, and it's just broccoli uh, it takes so much work to cut up and all those sorts of things but broccoli I mean asparagus it's easy uh, you just Stick it in the oven, stick it in the grill, and it's ready to go. And it doesn't need a lot, um, a lot of time to cook. So um, stay tuned. I'll show you my my ways of cooking with asparagus. Um, avocados. Now I'm not a fan of just plain avocados. Um, but what I'm going to do with these is another story, is another story, is another story. Um, also stay tuned. I will have a video or content on that. And dun, 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 dun. sweet potatoes. Listen. If you do not eat sweet potatoes, you do not understand the life you're missing out on. 
Sweet potatoes, not only do they taste good, but they're good for you. Um, it's just, they're all, they're good all the way around. Uh, like, I, like I can't even, I'm speechless. Like I just love sweet potatoes. Um, again, you want to see a video on how to cook or make um, and spice them up to your flavor or your taste. Stay tuned. And then lastly, we got some good old meats. Uh, just some ground beef. And some chicken breasts. Alright, so that's pretty much what stays in my stable or something I, of my choice, my preference that I like to eat. Um, as far as meats, I pretty much eat any meats. Um, You'll never see me go vegan or vegetarian, or any of that. People can say what they want. I will never live without my meats. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, but I don't, I don't go too crazy with, uh, I don't go, I don't overly eat um, meats. Um, ground beef obviously is good for uh, spaghetti my, making taco salads, which I love, um, and other sorts of other things. But I also like ground beef for just a, um, what they call a bro meal. <laughs> um, just because it's simple, it's easy. Uh, I can put the spices into it, the flavors I want, and it's pretty much done. I'll have this and rice, um, and that's usually about it. Um, as I said, if it's some, if it's a quick meal, I want to just go to, uh, especially after a workout, I'll pop this, um, pop, pop this on the grill or pop it on the stove, um, as well as have some rice and you got your carbs and your protein right off hand. So, uh, as far as chicken breast, you guys know, there's so many things you can do with chicken breast. Um, my next meal with chicken breast is gonna be stuffed avocado or stuffed stuffed guacamole chicken breast. So delicious, so delicious, so delicious. Uh, some people take it to the extreme and add bacon, uh, wrap bacon around the chicken, but um, I'll, I, that's for a special occasion, I will say, but uh, stuffed avocado or stuffed guacamole, chicken breast are just absolutely delicious. So uh, if you want to see that, let me know, leave your comments below. But as I said, these are just a few items I normally have always in my stable. Stay fit, stay functional, stay healthy, stay safe. Always remain elite until the next time.